Well, in the structural parts sector, it is definitely the precision that the process is capable of providing. Uh, uh, it is an edge shape technology opposite to many, many other technologies that make near net shape components like cold extrusion or investment casting. The precision is un, uh, un, uh, matched by any other process. Usually people think that it's restricted to the radial dimensions, but that is not correct. Also in the actual dimensions where we have not that precision that we achieve in the radial direction, this process cannot be um, competed with by any other process, be it uh, zinc die casting where you have uh, drawbacks in uh, geometrical capabilities uh, due to the tooling and stuff like that. In addition to the precision uh, with the modern presses which we have today, the process of also is of course also able to manufacture uh, very, very complex components. And if you uh, combine that with joining and machining uh, operation, then you have a very, very large shape capability that other processes can uh, provide in that precision. We have to face, if you go to the statistics, that uh, the iron and steel business um, as a weight per manufactured car is stagnating since about 10, 12 years, both in um, Japan and the US or North America, but also in Europe. Uh, in the US you have 19 kilograms of PM uh, steel in a car, in an average car, and in Japan and in Europe it's 9 kilograms. That has not changed at all. So all mm, the developments that have been made uh, to achieve better complexity, higher density, and all that sort of stuff, better strength, uh, were just sufficient to keep the uh, uh, position uh, that the um, processes were capable of providing uh, 10 years ago. And in order to uh, maintain that position for the uh, next decade, <coughs> Uh, I expect a couple of components to come up. We are talking about gears that will not be in, uh, that will not be a revolution, but gearbox gears will come up uh, slowly. Uh, every new application must be conquered. Uh, you, you have to see that uh, many many gears are manufactured in-house. Then you have to more or less beat the variable in-house cost of a gearbox manufacturer. So that will be very difficult. Therefore, um, the revolution in gears that was uh, predicted by Sven Hultain in 1960 already will not take place. But if a re evolutionary growth will come from this area. Um, also, another area, also difficult component, are sleeves in gearbox. Uh, give a PMG Füssen, for instance, has a, a plant uh, freshly erected last year, opened uh, last year, that is only dedicated to sleeves. Uh, and sleeves, um, of course, geometrically a difficult, difficult design, are uh, also an area where powder metallurgy ought to have benefits versus broached components. Usually the splines and uh, um, sleeves are uh, broached. And I see a lot of other components coming up. Every uh, modern manufacturer has presently the capability of manufacturing um, helical, heli helically toothed, toothed components. It must not be gears, it can also be uh, spline components. Therefore, since the technology is available, uh, and that has only, only to be modified for uh, additional other components. Spli helically splined components of all geometries is also an area where I see growth. But this growth will not be sufficient to really, uh, let's say, consume more powder than we do today. I guess the amount of powder consumed in Europe will stay constant over the, the next five to ten years at least.